Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a good day as always. Today, I want to do video number one of a two-part series where I look back at the last year uh, of my spending practices and look at kind of what was bad spending practices and what needs to be improved upon and also look at some of my good purchases and my good spending um, and just talk about those because no matter what, I'm sure all of us right now have something in our minds that we want to spend money on and we're unsure of whether or not it was worth it um, or if it's worth it for you. And so what I want to do is talk about the things that I found to be worth it or not worth it and hopefully have it inspire you guys to make good financial decisions for yourself. Now, as always, guys, I want this to be a conversation. So today, while I talk about what it is that I felt were my negative spending practices or bad purchases were, I'd love it if you commented down below with yours, because again, it's all about finding that person who's going through the same situation and seeing if we can't help them out. So again, if you have something to share, please leave a comment down below. So with that said, you know, as far as my stuff goes, when I look back at the year at the stuff that I regret spending money on, there's not a whole lot that I really, really feel guilty about. You know, the first thing that I would want to mention that 100% was not worth the money was this new phone that I had to buy. You know, again, it's not something that I bought in a moment of weakness because I just wanted it. I dropped my last iPhone in a cup of water and it just killed it. The whole, you know, putting your phone in rice just did not help. Uh, I was on a road trip, so I just couldn't do it anytime soon. So the phone died. I had to get a new phone. And I tend to be kind of someone that when I need something, I'll get a nice version of whatever it is that I need. And then I'll try to make it last as long as possible. So my iPhone 6 died, and I got the newest iPhone 11. And it's not that it's a bad phone, right? I totally love my iPhone. I wouldn't get anything different. Um, but it just it's not worth the money right? $750, not necessarily down the drain, but it kind of feels like it went down the drain because I didn't want to have to buy this. So if you happen to be in a situation where you have something that works, but you want the newer version, you know, in my opinion, it's not always worth the money, right? In my case, it's a phone. It wasn't a huge expense, but it's money I wish I had back. But for you, it might be something entirely different. It might be a car. It might be a gaming thing. It might be a computer. It might be really anything, clothes, right? It doesn't matter what it is. If you've got something that works, but you want the nicer version of it, wait until you literally can't use what you currently have and it's just obsolete, it doesn't work. Because I'm, I'm promising you guys, it's not worth the money for me. Love your phone, but you're not worth the money. Now the next two things that I wanna talk about aren't necessarily individual items, but rather spending practices that I think I need to improve on in this year. Uh, the first one is kind of impulse spending. And I'm not talking about buying things like clothes or new gadgets or something like that, but I had a really, really negative year, in my opinion, when it comes to spending money on food. You know, for someone that talks about wanting to buy like ethically sourced food and do responsible spending when it comes to that, I'm trying to grow my own food in the backyard. I spent an awful lot of money on restaurants and fast food, something that I absolutely regret, um, mainly because it was like a willpower thing. Right, you know, I do something called intermittent fasting where I don't eat anything until about three o'clock in the afternoon and then I have a short eating window and that's fine. No problems whatsoever. I actually like that way of eating, right? But when I don't do my grocery shopping or meal planning, like if I work out and it's time to eat and I don't have anything that I really want to eat in the house, then I absolutely went to, you know, fast food or a restaurant right down the road to grab something. And that's okay here and there, but I just felt like I did it way too many times this past year. So my impulse spending, especially when it comes to that area of, of spending food, I think I need to do a much, much better job. So that's one thing that I'm gonna commit to myself to doing a better job of this year. I've actually already got something in the works that I'm going to make a video on in the future that I really, really think will help out with this, this situation. And it's also something I've always wanted to do, so I'm excited to make that video. But yeah, that's my second thing that I really, really think I did a poor job on. Now, the last thing I wanna mention is probably inefficient project planning. You know, I did a lot of things in my backyard when it comes to like landscape, and trying to grow my own food. And I'm really, really happy I started those projects. I don't think I planned a lot of these things that I wanted to do efficiently, and I spent more money than I should have. You know, when I think about like the landscaping, uh, you know, eventually I kind of want to do an Airbnb in the house or potentially rent the house out in the future with my girlfriend. And because of that, I want this to be a very nice place to live in. So I want to do certain things to the backyard and inside the house. And when it comes to my projects, 
you know, I just spent too much money on things that didn't really make sense. Like with the landscape, I bought some Japanese maples because I absolutely love the trees and I think they would be gorgeous, but it doesn't really work in a central Texas environment. So I probably had a hundred dollars worth of trees die because I was forcing something that just didn't really make sense. You know, with my gardening stuff, I'm really happy I started that, but I probably bit off more than I could chew and I had a lot of money just down the drain because it didn't really produce anything for me to eat. And while it's a good learning experience, it's still money down the drain. Uh, another project that I took on this past year was becoming a licensed realtor. And I definitely don't regret going down that route, but I probably started off this, this career journey thinking one thing and it turned out to be something different and not necessarily what I wanted it to be. And so while I made enough money to offset what I put into getting this done, I still feel like that was time and money somewhat down the drain. And you know, when I want to do these things in the future, I need to sit down and do a better job of planning things out, talking to people, finding out how much I can do ahead of time to determine whether or not it's worth it or how to be more successful when I start these projects. I think that'll go a long way in A, you know, making things worthwhile, but B, saving some money at the exact same time. So overall, when I look back at the past year of spending, um, those are the three things that really stand out to me as far as a purchase that wasn't worth it and spending practices that I really need to improve on in this next year. Um, again, I'd love to know what you guys think and what your own personal finance journey was last year that you think you can improve upon. Definitely leave a comment down below. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. You guys know what to do. But thank you so much for watching. Make smart financial decisions, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Hey guys, I know I just said this stuff, but let me say it again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. And to support you, here's two more videos that I've made in the past in case you haven't seen them. Don't forget to share these with your friends and family so we can help all the people achieve their financial goals. Likewise, if there's anything that you would want to see made that you haven't seen thus far, definitely don't hesitate to let me know. But thanks again, take care, and have a good day.